It's been more than a decade that the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, known as DACA, was implemented by the Obama administration. Since then, DACA recipient Edwin Soto Saucedo has worked, put himself through grad school, and even visited his home country. Got to meet my grandmother, got to go to, unfortunately, the grave sites where my loved ones had are at because they passed away while we were out here. Every two years, Edwin begins the paperwork to once again renew his DACA permit, an occurrence that Edwin says fills him with fear and worry since there are often delays in the process, delays that can lead to some recipients losing their authorization to work in the U.S. It's exhausting to renew every two years because I have to prove that I'm worthy of being in this country, even though we came you know, years ago. USCIS recommends DACA recipients submit renewals up to 150 days before they expire. Some wait for months to receive updates. And we have to apply, we have to pay them no matter what, or else we do basically put ourselves into a state of jeopardy. According to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, there are an estimated 554,000 active DACA recipients nationwide. To address their concerns, several House Democratic Caucus members are leading an effort to ask USCIS to provide automatic extensions for eligible DACA recipients. Congressman Lou Correa of Orange County is leading the effort. What we have with the DACA program is a program that says if you're working hard, you're studying, following the law, pay taxes, you can stay in this country. What else do you want from an immigrant? You're checking off all the boxes and we still can't get your green card. Congressman Correa hopes these efforts will inspire legislature that benefits the American economy and the DACA recipients who contribute to it, even as the future of the program that grants them the ability to work remains uncertain. Politics being what they are today, uh, immigration policy is a political piñata and DACA recipients have been caught up in this political piñata. A limbo that Edwin says he's grown to live in. It got renewed for the next two years, right? And the reality is that unfortunately DACA is not permanent. Um, that is something that I have to remind myself. For now, the DACA program is Edwin's temporary safety net, one that he hopes will become permanent. Cristian Galeno, Spectrum News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your community, click the subscribe button here. You can also download the Spectrum News app or watch us on TV for the latest information, balanced coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.